Shiny Pokemon are extremely rare. In the newer Pokemon games, you have a 1 in 4096 chance of running into one, so when you encounter it, it's usually a reason to get very excited. Unless this happens to you. I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and today I'm going to be talking about five times where you don't want to encounter a shiny. Go ahead and turn that like button shiny right now, and let's jump right into things with Pokemon Black and White. Usually when people find their shiny Pokemon, they're in the middle of their Pokemon adventure, or they've already defeated the game, and they're specifically hunting for shinies. But this shiny that you never want to encounter is right at the beginning of the game. When you start a new game, you're greeted by Professor Juniper doing her whole Welcome to the World of Pokemon speech. During this, she sends out her Pokemon, Minchino. However, there's a 1 in 8192, the shiny chance in Generation 5, well, chance of it being a shiny. That honestly has to be one of the biggest flexes of all time. Welcome, new trainer, to the Unova region. This is my shiny Minchino. If you're one of the few poor unfortunate souls that this happens to happen to, well, congratulations, you just found the shiny Pokemon, but you can't catch it. And if you want to keep playing the game, it's going to have to go away. And you want to know the worst part about all of this? If she does happen to have that shiny Minchino in the intro, when she later on shows you how to catch a Pokemon in the tutorial part of the game, there's a really good chance that she won't have it anymore. Once again, when she sends out her Minchino in battle, there's a 1 in 8,192 chance of it being a shiny. <laughs> Imagine how awful it would be if you saw the shiny Minchino in the intro and she sent out her shiny Minchino in a battle. You basically would have found two shiny Pokemon, but wouldn't have been able to catch either of them. From what I hear, for Pokemon Black and White 2, they actually shiny locked her Chinchino, so that can't be shiny in the intro. But there are a few videos online of people finding shiny Chinchinos in the beginning of the game. I'm not sure if they were hacking or not, so this is just confusing. Next for shiny Pokemon you don't want to encounter, I'm going to be talking about a lot of shinies all in this one little group because they kind of all fit together. These are the shiny Pokemon you encounter in the tutorial part of the game. The most famous and probably the worst one to see happen to you is the Wally Shiny. In Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, when you go to Petalburg Gym and meet your dad, a boy named Wally walks inside and wants help catching his first Pokemon. Your dad gives him a Zigzagoon and you go with him to make sure he can catch his Pokemon okay. And just like with Pokemon Black and White, normally he'll encounter a normal Pokemon, in this case a Ralts. However, there is a 1 in 8,192 chance of him encountering a shiny Ralts. And if this happened to me, oh my god, I would be so upset. Ralts is such a beautiful looking shiny, and it's such a waste going to Wally! And to rub some salt on the wound, if Wally finds that shiny Ralts, he's never going to use it again throughout the rest of the game. Whenever you battle him, it'll just be a normal Ralts or Curlier or Gardevoir. In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, they fixed this so the Ralsei encounters can't be shiny. But that doesn't mean there aren't more things like this in other games. In Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, when the old man teaches you how to catch a Pokemon, there's a chance that he can run into a shiny Weedle. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, when you get attacked by Starly at the lake and you're forced to choose a starter, those Starly that attack you can be shiny as well. And even the Poochie Poochie in the beginning of the game attacking Professor Birch can be a shiny. It must be really awful getting that lucky to run into a shiny, but not being able to catch it because the game just won't let you. There are so many more examples of this happening throughout the Pokemon series, but if I mentioned them all, we'd be here on this point for a really long time. In the comments, tell me about your favorite tutorial shiny, and let me know if this ever happened to you. Number three is an interesting one. Picture this, you're playing Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and you reach the part where you're supposed to go through Eterna Forest. When you walk in there, you meet the Pokemon trainer Cheryl, and you team up to get through the forest together. Now, every time you walk into a wild battle, you encounter two Pokemon at once. You start running through the forest and make a little bit of progress, then you walk into this one patch, and not one, but two shiny Pokemon pop out at the same time. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I think we all would get extremely excited here running into two shinies at the same time, but you'd quickly realize that you have to make a choice. See, in wild double battles, you can only capture one of the Pokemon and you're forced to knock out the other. 
So if you're lucky enough to run into two shinies at the same time, you're gonna have to make the terrible choice of knocking out one shiny Pokemon and hopefully catching the other. And also hope that Cheryl or whoever else your partner might be doesn't knock out the shiny you're trying to catch. Also, not so fun fact, sometimes when you find two shiny Pokemon at once in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, the game can crash. But if you think that's bad, imagine this scenario. You do a horde battle in Pokemon XY or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and you encounter not one, not two, not three, but five shiny Pokemon all at once. I usually don't recommend playing the lottery, but if that happened to you, play the lottery. Number four is truly one of the Pokemon world's biggest heartbreaking scenarios. Picture this. You're playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, you just chose your starter Charmander because why would you choose Bulbasaur or Squirtle, and you're walking on Route 1 going to Viridian City. When you get there, you go to the Pokemart and the guy doesn't sell you any Pokeballs. Instead, he tells you to deliver this parcel back to Professor Oak. So you leave in a hurry to go back to Pallet Town, but you accidentally walk in a patch of grass. And then you roll that 1 in 8,192 chance and encounter a shiny Pidgey. But since you're so early on in the game, you don't have any Pokeballs and you'll have to either kill it or run away. I want to see lots and lots of Fs in the chat right now for any poor soul that had this happen to them. Finding a wild shiny Pokemon before you could even get any Pokeballs is truly one of the worst things that can happen to you in a Pokemon game. Except number five, which is awful, and I've seen this firsthand, running into a shiny Pokemon, thinking you have Pokeballs, and being totally out. I saw this happen one time in person when my girlfriend was playing Pokemon Go. I think it was Mudkip Community Day this past summer, and she happened to run into a shiny Mudkip. She showed me her phone, and we were all excited, but then we realized she didn't have a single Pokeball. And we weren't about to pay some money to buy some Pokeballs to catch it, so unfortunately, the Mudkip got away. If you want to see the full video, it's on my Instagram, at PokeTipsMike. However, at least in Pokemon Go, you can temporarily run away from a shiny, and if you come back quick enough with balls, you'll be able to catch it. If this happens in one of the main series Pokemon game, where once you run away from a Pokemon, it's gone forever, oh my god, that would be devastating. And with that, my friends, you now know about five times where you don't want to encounter a shiny. In the comment section below, let me know if any of these scenarios have ever happened to you so I could give you my condolences, and also tell me about any other times that you know of that you definitely would not want to encounter a shiny, because I know there's plenty more out there. As always, thank you so much for watching the video. If you made it all the way to the end and you haven't already given me a thumbs up, go ahead and do that now. It's free and it won't hurt you like running into one of these shinies will. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.